Hi, my name is Adam Gilfillan, and today I will be talking about source code analysis and JavaScript for my software engineering project. First of all, what measures are worth looking at is a valid question. In this paper, published in 2003, a ranking of software engineering measures based on expert opinion, the top 30 software metrics are identified. They first discuss the importance of source code analysis and software metrics, noting here that software engineering measures determine software reliability. They then discuss the ranking methodology of the measures, mostly based on expert opinion and mathematical validity. There really is not a lot of studies or evidence to support any one measure, which is why they rely primarily upon expert opinion. And here are their results as to what they determined are the top three software measures to look at in each phase of development. Note that software measures such as fault density and cyclomatic complexity are used multiple times. In the 2006 paper, Putting the Tools to Work, How to Succeed with Source Code Analysis, researchers Praveer Chandra, Brian Chess and John Steven discuss the importance of source code analysis and how to implement it in a real-world setting. The researchers examine three key questions. First, who runs the tool? Well, they determine that ultimately the developers are the ones that run the tool. That one is pretty self-explanatory. Next, when is the tool run? Well, the tool should be run while the code is being written so after every X amount of saves, for example. At build time, the tool should be run. And after every major milestone or goal is completed, the tool should be run. So essentially, all the time. <laughs> Finally, what happens after the tool is run? Well, they boil it down to change must happen. Change in the software, change in the system, that is ultimately what must happen from the use of this tool. I'd like to shift gears here for a moment and briefly talk about JavaScript. JavaScript in years past has not found much respect as a programming language. Whether it's the name that's kind of been copied after Java <laughs> and confuses people, or the fact that it's a scripting language turned fully functional programming language, many have yet to accept it until now. In this paper, it's about time to take JavaScript more seriously. Dr. Holger Keinel reasons the benefits and importance of JavaScript. Going forward, Dr. Keinel says, regardless of whether you like it, expect to see more JavaScript, or at least to execute more of it in your browser as we move down the Web 2.0 road. One problem with JavaScript is that it is still in its infancy stage compared to more mature languages like C and Java. This means that there is really only one good static analysis tool out there. Dr. Callan mentions it briefly here, noting that as a band-aid, there's a static verification tool, JSLint. I'd like to briefly show you a new powerful source code analysis tool for JavaScript. It is called Plato and it's found on GitHub. Let's go ahead and look at an example report that Plato generates for jQuery. Openly available. As you can see here, Plato provides us with a good general summary of jQuery. Gives us the lines of code, it generates a maintainability ratio, it allows you to look at the maintainability of each file in the jQuery library. It lets you look at the lines of code in each file. It even estimates your errors in implementation. Gives you a little bit of instructions as well. It tells you the lint errors. Now this lint errors is based on JSLint, which I just discussed briefly, is the really only other JavaScript tool out there for static code analysis. You then can look at each individual file's complexity, lint errors, and a couple of other useful measures. 
Overall, this is a useful visualization tool, Plato.